Hey everybody, it's Fox with Foxio Games, and this is a Fox First Scent for Onechambara Z2 Chaos. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Fox, didn't you already do one of these for this game? I did, but that was the PlayStation 4 version. This is the PC version available on Steam. Interesting that these types of games are actually coming to the PC because these unique sort of uh, Japanese niche titles would never in the past have ever come to the PC. One of the few that ever did, or actually two of the few that ever did, were like Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII, and those aren't really niche titles. That's the only reason they came to PC. They were super popular. Well, you can see from the footage here, this is a beat-em-up hack-and-slash game. It's not open world. You do kind of have this mission structure where you go from one area to the next, and in between... There are little story segments that are told in sort of like comic book form, so you don't see a lot of animation, but it is voiced both in English and in Japanese. And in typical fashion for these games, the English dubbing, while not absolutely terrible, is a little forced and overdone. Uh, and of course you have the banter between the four ladies that star in the game that's sometimes funny, but uh, sometimes a little cringeworthy to be honest. The hack and slash element to the game is uh, pretty interesting, it's pretty cool, although I will admit that it's a bit more of a button masher than anything else. Um, as long as you're playing on the normal difficulty and you've got your character set up fairly well, then you won't find it too terribly difficult. There is a point at which you can actually t get the blood off of your weapon. If you look over to the left, the middle of the screen there, you can see that the blood meter stacks up, and to make sure that you maintain your full power, you do occasionally need to sort of like swipe or wipe that blood off of the weapon. Some things just don't seem to uh, have the punch that they need. Like when I destroyed those benches, they made this odd kind of noise, and then broke into a couple pieces. Didn't quite have that feel that you feel like it should. Not all the weapons have the punch that you would like, but uh, it is what it is. Not a lot in terms of graphics options. I do hope to get around to a full review of the game after I've played it more, and I'll also be incorporating the PlayStation 4 version as well. A close-up of this enemy shows that the textures could have done with uh, some better resolution on them, but it is what it is now, obviously. We're lucky, in fact, to get this game at all, although that doesn't mean that we can't criticize it for what's criticism worthy about it. Yeah, textures aren't the best. Um, I do a pretty terrible job here. I'm not really dodging very well, uh, but it does go to show that at the normal difficulty, you don't have to worry too much about dying constantly. You can swap out the ladies at your own leisure by hitting a button, and you can do that up to all four of them if you have all four available. Right now, I only have two of them available. This, this lady right here has the chainsaw, which is a pretty cool weapon. Uh, I really like it, but all of the ladies have two base weapons, and then they've got like a third, kind of a tertiary weapon that's usually some sort of projectile. It is about building up the combos, lots and lots of combos, even ridiculous to a certain point. The boss fight was fairly fun, you can see the big giant boss meter at the bottom, although like I said, I prefer that these games do require a bit more finesse and a bit more precision from the player versus sort of this slightly mindless button mashing. And in particular, when you're fighting just the mobs of enemies throughout the level, uh, with few exceptions, there are some exceptions, it's mainly just a button mash fest. Now this right here has your quick little uh, quick time events. They're short, they're, they, they're not much, they're just a couple button presses. I would still they'd rather not be in the game. I pretty much hate all quick time events, but in this case I can tolerate them because there's very, very little of them and then they don't require much at all. It's not like they're really, really tight uh, button timings that you have or if you fail them, you know, it sets you back a ways. That's what I hated about quick time events. In this game so far, of what I've experienced, it's not the case. I keep getting slammed by that attack. I keep thinking I can get out of the way, but I don't, so. Uh, at some point here, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other lady, and then you'll see what she's able to do. Right there, I knocked off the blood from the chainsaw. That's always a good idea. I don't know if I switched up to her other weapon. I don't think I did. I think I just switched to the other lady. There are four uh, females that you can play as in the game, and then, of course, you can set them all up with different outfits. You can decide if you want them to wear bunny ears or... Uh, one of a various number of different costumes, some more skimpy than others. Uh, you can have other headgear like uh, hats, cowboy hats, glasses, things of that sort. There you saw her tertiary weapon right there. It's sort of like a giant uh, flail, maybe? Like a mace. Uh, not a mace, sorry. A flail or, or a spiked ball on a chain. That's what it's all about, guys. Attacking with these just ridiculous over-the-top weapons and then here we've switched it up to I think this is Saya I think it's Saya correct me if I'm wrong 
And she works with both a katana, which is pretty standard for this game. I think all, I think three of the girls have katanas. And then she also has her um, fists, basically, as weapons as well. That's her base outfit. All these girls have their base outfit currently. It's the beginning of the game. I just downloaded the PC version, so haven't had a lot of time to play it yet. Still working on some other playthroughs on my playthrough channel, which is at Foxio Plays. Link in the description if you haven't subscribed already, guys. At the end of each battle, whether it's just regular enemies or a boss or whatnot, at the end of each area, you'll get a score. And I do believe it's the standard E is the lowest, and then S is the highest. S comes after A being the highest. So that's a very standard Japanese thing to do. I do enjoy the game, despite some of the button mashing that goes on. Um, there's a little more to it than you might think initially. And yes, of course, there's that visual style. Uh, two of the other girls that are the main characters are wearing some pretty skimpy outfits to start, but you can always change those. At any rate, guys, what do you think of 1HMBOTA Z2 Chaos on the PC? I'm Fox with Foxio Games, and I'll see you next time.